This is Super Yacht News with Eve Sisman. Hi, welcome back to the channel. So a yacht engineer died Friday whilst working on board a super yacht in Antigua. The man was believed to be 47-year-old British national by the name of Roy Jem. Now the incident happened on Friday the 23rd of February at approximately 0830 hours local time and the preliminary investigation suggests that Jem died of electrocution. Jem from Southampton in the UK was working on board the super yacht Baton Rouge as chief engineer when he responded to the vessel blacking out whilst laid up in English Harbour in Antigua. The 47 year old went about trying to restore power in the engine room. Now, after some time had passed, a colleague went to check on him and found him unresponsive, slumped over the inside of the engine compartment. The crew moved him to the main deck and began trying to revive him. At the same time, they made a distress call. The Antigua and Barbuda search and rescue team promptly responded to that distress call. Uh, despite the swift response, Jem was pronounced dead by a doctor upon arrival at the hospital around 10, 19 hours local time. A statement by the post official said officers were called to reports of the concern for the welfare of a man on board a boat in English Harbour. Immediate action was needed after establishing that he didn't look well. The paramedics arrived and did their best, but sadly he passed away. So that was a statement that was released by the port in, in Antigua. Now, the vessel Baton Rouge is a 62 meter or 205 foot super yacht built by Icon Yachts in the Netherlands in 2010. And uh, the yacht has a crew of 18, according to Burgess Yachts, where the yacht is listed as a charter vessel. And the owner is believed to be the French billionaire Martin Boyger. So obviously we will keep you updated when we get more information. If you work on the vessel or if you know more on the story, please be sure to get in touch at news at esisman.co.uk. Okay, we'll move on to our next story now. Uh, a couple were allegedly murdered by three escaped inmates as their yacht was hijacked. The couple from the US were visiting Grenada on their sailing yacht named Sailing Yacht Simplicity on February the 18th when it's believed three escaped inmates boarded their yacht as they were trying to flee the island. According to a statement released by the Royal Grenada Police, three suspects who escaped a prison in Grenada before allegedly hijacking the yacht and sailing to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, committed several crime acts, including bodily harm to the couple while sailing. When authorities eventually recovered the yacht, the scene was consistent with signs of violence, the, the police force said. Several items were strewn on the deck and in the cabin, and the red substance that resembled blood was seen on board. There was no discovery of bodies on board the yacht, the statement added. Police said they cannot conclusively confirm the current status or whereabouts of the couple, Kathy Brandle and Ralph Hendry, and there is a low probability they may turn up alive somewhere, a statement read. And the Virginia couple had saved for years, sold their home and bought a catamaran to sail around the Caribbean, according to CNN. Uh, everything they owned was on board the yacht. The vessel was found abandoned Wednesday off the coast of St. Vincent, uh, with the husband and wife nowhere to be found, according to the club, the Salty Dog Sailing Association, of which they were members. When investigated board of the yacht, they found signs of a struggle and blood, suggesting the couple may have been assaulted before possibly being thrown overboard. Uh, there is still an ongoing search for the couple, but the pair are presumed dead. According to a separate Monday statement from the Royal St. Vincent and Grenadines Police Force, Information suggests that the escapees dispose of the occupants whilst travelling between Grenada and St. Vincent, which is about 80 miles away as the crow flies, the Royal Grenada Police Force Commissioner Don McKenzie said in the news conference. The three prisoners were in prison on various charges, including aggravated robbery, with one in prison for rape and indecent assault. Now, the escapees were captured three days after their escape in St. Vincent, and they're cooperating with the police in the investigation. The suspects were in front of a St. Vincent's judge Monday and so far they have only been charged with immigration related charges of which they all pled guilty to according to the Royal St. Vincent and Grenadines Police. Of course we will keep you up to date on that which is a developing story also. All right before we go we've got a quick update on the grounded former Navy vessel Chaparral 
The vessel which grounded last month in Maui after storms has begun to be cut up so that it can finally be removed from the beach. Now, initially, they were going to uh, try to lift the vessel and with, the, with some diggers and move it closer to the road to be cut up, but that failed. Um, and you can see why when you see the size of the engines that, that are inside this boat, which have now been removed, of course, uh, they, you know, they, they, uh, they remove them to hopefully remove the, uh, move the vessel in one piece, but they've decided to cut it up where it lies. Uh, images and video provided by Guy Lawrence, who is on the ground in Maui, and he says they've started to cut up the superstructure now and it's almost completely removed. And we will, of course, keep you updated on the progress of this story. There was, a, there was a young girl on board. She was working on board. She had said to her parents that she was being held on board against her will. She was. She said that she she um she wanted to leave and she'd been told she couldn't leave. All right, a new episode of the Yacht Report podcast will land Thursday at midday UTC time. This episode, we will answer the question, is there a super yacht blacklist in terms of uh, employment, plus much more. Uh, you can find the podcast on YouTube at Yacht Report Podcasts, also available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Audible, etc. as an audio only podcast. However, if you cannot wait until Thursday, the episode is already available on Patreon at patreon.com slash esysman. Uh, a number of new Patreon chat videos have recently been uploaded, as well as the uh, as well as behind the scenes footage from our trips to Supiat Marines all over the world and the Atlantic Vlog series and the Patreon chat series. If you've got any information about any of the stories today or any other stories, please be sure to get in touch. You can do so at the following ways. You can get us in the, uh, e in the email address in the ticker. You can get us on the About page of the YouTube channel. And you can get us on Instagram, on Facebook Messenger, on Twitter, and on Threema. Uh, be sure to like this video. Very important for the algorithm. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell for future notifications. All right, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.